I'm Rebecca Brand, and this is one of my favorite recipes is a Valentine's Day cake, and I've shortened it to half the time to get you through this quicker. It is a rock solid recipe, so I hope you enjoy watching this. And make it, and comment, and tell me how it turns out for you. Today we're gonna make a red velvet Valentine cake. We're gonna have flour, unsweetened cocoa powder, baking soda, baking powder, salt, sugar, butter, eggs, vanilla extract, buttermilk, red food coloring, white vinegar. So I'm preheating the oven, it's at 350 degrees, and let's start with our wet ingredients. So I'm gonna put my butter in a mixer. This has been softened, so it's room temperature or a little more. That's one stick of butter and now one and a half cups of regular granulated sugar. And now we're gonna mix that up. I'm using a mixer today, but feel free to use a bowl and a spoon. Now let's add our two eggs. Just for variety, we're using two colors of eggs today. Let's mix that up too. We need one cup of buttermilk, one teaspoon of distilled white vinegar, one teaspoon vanilla extract. I wanna add our red food coloring now. I'm adding two tablespoons today, but you could add more if you want a deeper red. Now check this out. This is gonna be pretty as it blends. That looks pretty red to me. This is a messy recipe. There's a lot of casualties. It's like a crime scene. <laughs> Time to put together our dry ingredients. We have two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. If you sift it, you have a more smooth texture in your cake. To that, we add one tablespoon of unsweetened cocoa, one teaspoon of baking powder goes in, and one teaspoon of baking soda goes in. Let's mix that up, and we'll turn that on. After about one minute, let's push down the sides of what's sticking to that bowl. Maybe another 30 seconds, and that's gonna be it. Good, done. So let's get our pans ready. So I pour some corn oil in there and I get a paper towel and I wad it up and then I just, you know, mix up oil all around the pan. Okay, and now we add about a tablespoon of flour. We just, you know, toss it around the pan so all the sides are covered. And what this does is it makes like an invisible film that helps our cake pop out of that pan. Time to fill our pans. Now, this is what the batter looks like. I'm happy I stopped at two tablespoons, let me tell you. That looks pretty red to me. That buttermilk is gonna make this extra creamy. It's a really great recipe. These are gonna go into the oven for 28 minutes until they spring back when you touch the top. It's been preheated, 350. Kinda space them out evenly in your oven. Yay! Your cakes have to bake between 28 and 33 minutes. So check at 28 just to make sure. Now we're gonna make our frosting. So the ingredients for the frosting are powdered sugar, which is also confectioner sugar, vanilla extract, butter, cream cheese, and for our decorating, I'm gonna use red food coloring and granulated sugar. I'm going to sift the frosting, which I usually don't do. And if you don't like doing this, you may skip these steps about the sifting. It's not gonna kill the cake. It'll make it smoother if you sift it, that's all. So we're doing three cups of powdered sugar. Done, messy. I've softened the butter. So that's gonna go in my mixing bowl with a whisk to make that frosting nice and fluffy. And here's my softened eight ounces, one cup of cream cheese, regular, don't go diet on me. Diet's not good in this recipe. To that, I'm gonna add one teaspoon of vanilla extract or a little more. I'm gonna mix this hard because I want it light and fluffy, so I'm putting that on high. I'm adding a half cup of powdered sugar at a time for a total of three cups, which is one pound. And you're gonna scrape down the sides too. Let's get it all in there and all incorporated. Let's give it one more mix. Now check this out, look at that consistency. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's delicious. Now you know what? Now you can stop here, and you can have a little white cake, but I'm making this cake for Valentine's Day, so I'm gonna crank it up a notch, and I'm gonna put some red food coloring in it and make it pink. Now I think a guy is really gonna like this. Okay, so we're gonna add a little bit at a time to get a nice little pink color, not too dark. I don't want it red, I want it pink. 
Now I have another trick. So I put about a half a teaspoon of this red food coloring into the sugar. I'm going to stir it up because I want to make red sugar sprinkles to go on this cake. My next trick is to take a piece of paper. Now you did this when you were in kindergarten, I bet, and we're going to cut a heart out of it. And this is going to be my little decoration on top of my cake. Heart. Okay, I'm happy. It's been 33 minutes. Let's check it out. It's bouncing back. The edges have a little bit of air in them, and that's how you tell. Toothpick test is clean. Out it comes. We need to let these cool before we frost them. They need to cool completely because that cream cheese and that butter will make a big mess on your cakes. Our cakes have cooled now. It's been a couple hours. It's time to frost them. So I'm taking them out of the pan by running a knife on the edges. I want this whole heart to come out of there easily. Tap it, tap it. Aha, it worked. So with my hands, I'm going to place it on my little doily. So we're going to frost the first layer. OK, the top layer has to go on. So again, make sure you get the sides well loosened. OK, here we go, it's on top. So when I frost the top layer, I always put a lot on top first because I don't want to run out by doing the sides. Take a little bit at a time and just go around. I think I'm going to lick the bowl. <laughs> We're frosting the top, and I like a lot of frosting on my cake. I'm going to show you the little trick with that sugar that's going to turn this into a Valentine's cake. Here is our stencil. I'm just putting it on there like that. Now just press that sugar through a strainer or sprinkle it like this. Either way is fine. Okay, careful lifting off your piece of paper. Voila. To get the edges really sharp with your sugar, take a knife and just draw. Push in the sugar that got out of the stencil. Isn't that cute? There's our happy Valentine's Day cake. Let's try it. Unfortunately, it's time to break my heart. <laughs> I want to show you what that inside looks like. Right down the center. Chop! Let's get a bite of this. Oh, man. Oh, mm. That is so velvety. It is truly a red velvet cake. The color is beautiful. So subscribe to my channel and let's keep cooking. Make this for your sweetie pie on Valentine's Day. Cheers. Here's to love. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day.